We all know that feeling. We feel beauty, but we do so with very different things. The question is, what do they have in common? Obviously, it's not about the object, so it must be about the experience. What is going on in the mind? What produces beauty? We find that beautiful things are also always a pleasure. When you look at something unpleasant, or if you are not able to feel pleasure, you will also not feel any beauty. But there is more. To feel beauty, you also need to be able to think. How do we know? We did the experiment. Well, psychology experiments. First, we looked at time. How long do you need to look at an image to feel beauty? We measure pleasure over time where people look at images and after. Just one second is enough to find an image beautiful. We also asked whether you can feel beauty while thinking about a different task. We asked people how beautiful and pleasant various objects are once, just like that. But another time, they also had to listen to a string of letters and respond when it was the same as the one two letters back. Things that were usually beautiful lost their beauty with the task. Other things that were not beautiful were not affected. In most experiments, we show you one image at a time. But that's not real life. Most of the time, objects are surrounded by many others. So when we judge one, do the other objects influence the first? No. People can track two pleasures at once. In all our experiments, pleasure and beauty go hand in hand. But this is correlation, not causation. Enter the question, do you need pleasure to feel beauty? We asked many, many people to rate many, many images. And we also asked them about how they usually experience pleasure. These answers gave us an estimate of anhedonia. People with anhedonia do not feel pleasure, even when others would. Now that we knew the pleasure of many images and the ability of many people to feel pleasure, we can look at how much beauty is possible with versus without pleasure. Unpleasant images were rarely beautiful and anhedonic people rarely felt beauty. But the more pleasant the image or the less anhedonic the person, the more intense the beauty. Some people say it's strange that beauty is intense pleasure because some find sad music or scary movies beautiful. But I don't think it's strange at all because you can know that a thing is not pleasant and yet you can appreciate that it looks beautiful.